My, 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 Corolla. Take a look at this 2021. That's right, this is the first Toyota 2021 I've reviewed. Corolla Hybrid LE. Let's see some changes and let's see some changes in price. And then I'll tell you why it's so special and why you might want one. Let's talk about difference in price first of all. How did that change? So 2020, the factory MSRP was 23,100 for the hybrid LE Corolla, 23.1. This year, it's gone up $300, a modest increase, 23,400. So that's not too much. So what has changed? Really the only difference here is gonna be the addition of Android Auto. So if you were expecting wide sweeping changes and redesigns and refresh, you don't need that. The Corolla was just redesigned, so that's not important. But what is important is that Android Auto, because it allows people with Android systems to use navigation from their phones, they can use music from their phones, they can do texting safely and without distraction, they can do phone calls safely and without distraction as well. So it's the same benefit that Apple CarPlay has and Apple owners already know. Let's take a walk around the car so we can learn a little bit more about it. Of course, it's got that sporty front end with the wire mesh trapezoidal grille. It's got front disc brakes, rear disc brakes, 53 miles a gallon in the city, 52 on the highway combined to 52. LED tail lights, backup camera. It's beautiful, we're walking. We're continuing to walk around it. By the way, I'm using my new gimbal. I hope this is a nice smooth picture. It's supposed to smooth out when I take steps. So we'll see if it really does or not. You guys let me know. Of course, the hybrid is only available in the LE trim level. I do like to talk about Toyota Safety Sense and Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 like it's the first time you've seen it. I know a lot of you already know from previous videos what's included in this, but remember for somebody else, it might be their first time. So Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 has pre-collision system with pedestrian detection during the daytime and low lighting at night, bicycle detection during the daytime, road sign assist, it picks up stop signs, do not enter signs, yield signs, and it'll tell you the speed limit of the last speed limit sign that it recognized. It does that visually by using this camera here that picks up bikes and people and road signs. It also comes with lane tracing assist. That keeps you centered in your lane when it's visible stripes on either side, even when you're going around turns or sort of like bumper to bumper type traffic. It's got lane departure alert with steering assist, automatic high beams and dynamic radar cruise control. You'll notice on here, oh, there's a spider on me. It's also got LED headlights and LED daytime running light accent lights. You'll see it in a triple J pattern, one, two, three. The ground clearance on this one is 5.1 inches, so it's a little bit lower. I suggest that you watch it as you get closer to those low curbs, those type of a thing, or high curbs, I should say. But any curb, just watch it as you're getting a little bit closer. You don't want to scrape. Now let's look at the profile again. I'm going to show you a kind of a cool life hack here, but also tell you about blind spot monitor. That is not standard on this LE. It's getting windy. I hope you don't hear that on the camera. But this has been added on this particular car for an extra option. Now it has blind spot monitor. Now, notice the 15 inch wheel covers on here, but watch this. You can take them off and now you've got alloy wheels. Let's see if I can do it with the other one. Which one do you like better? I'm gonna use this as a thumbnail. You can see how I do my thumbnails now. Corolla Hybrid also comes with smart key push button start, which includes walking up to the car. You'll hear two beeps, beep, beep. It automatically unlocks it just like that. And then two parallel lines right here on the door handle where you can just beep, lock it like that. The trunk space is 13 cubic feet. To me, what I see is a trunk capacity that is tall, it's wide. It should provide enough room to store most of your stuff. I can see baby gear in here, dog supplies, luggage for a trip. Now let's look at what does it have? Does it have a spare tire? Does it have a fix a flat kit? What does it have? Does it have nothing? Take your guesses because we're about to find out. 
tire repair kit in the house. It's also got some storage room here where you can just put things, maybe like a bottle or some rope or bungee cords, that kind of stuff. But look at this, it shape fits the wheel well, the inner wheel well, we'll say. That provides a lot of soundproofing, so you really don't hear a lot of road noise coming from the back end of the car, which is something you would look for. You don't want to hear that hollow open sound. This is our gray interior. It's a two-tone with a light ash with a darker gray. Kind of breaks things up in here so it's not so, we'll call it monotone, if you know what I mean. Decent sized legroom for the type of vehicle it is. It's got good headroom in there. And then I'm gonna take a seat in the back and I'm gonna just show you what that interior looks like here. Get your impressions. To me, it's very simplistic. In other words, there aren't a ton of buttons and controls and dials, but believe me, it does plenty. There's an eight inch multimedia touchscreen. Like I said, it now does Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Yeah. Although it does not have a power driver's seat, it has a pump on the side of the seat, so you can raise yourself up and lower it based on your height and your comfort level. So we'll raise it here. Hopefully you can tell that in the video what's going on. It's going up quite a bit. That's what she said. All right, so now we're way up high and then I'm going to lower it. Can I get, we can go pretty much all the way back. So try sleeping while you're driving. Does that make sense? It's funny. What do you think of this front? seating area it's very open and very spacious i think does not feel claustrophobic at all remember this is a compact sedan this is also the best selling car in the entire world of all time so why wouldn't you want one that's already the best selling sedan of all time to have 52 53 miles a gallon it's ridiculous folks it's crazy very modern controls comes with electronic parking brake and brake hold. And as far as plug-in capabilities, there's going to be a USB port right here. Another USB port here, and then a 12 volt circular port. So you'll get two options for plugging in. Plug it in, plug it in. Digital temperature controls. That's how the fan works right there. And then this is our energy monitor so it can tell when we're using electric, when we're using engine power, and when we're using the um, the wheels to recharge the battery. It's called regenerative braking. I'll sh I should show you that. Yeah. And a little info, when you're going slower, it's going to use electric motor. When you're not using the accelerator, it's going to be recharging the battery. So in other words, when you slow down to get to a traffic light or a stop sign, or coast in or coast down a hill, it's gonna recharge that battery, which is real important. And then when it goes faster, it's gonna use more engine power, more gasoline, we'll call it. So let's just try it here. See, we're going slow, we're going slow. We're using just electric. Watch this. See, now we're using more gasoline. If you heard noise there, it's because I had the back window open. So now let's tool around and go back the other way just so you can get an idea of the energy monitor. So when you see red, that's gonna be gasoline. Green means you're recharging the battery. Yellow is electric. Let's go a little bit faster. So we're using electric. No gasoline yet, just a little bit now. And then it coasts right in. I'd like to just point out the backup camera here. It's nice and crystal clear. In addition to blind spot monitor, I should have said earlier, this also comes with rear cross traffic alert. So that's a big bonus. So you can be alerted when somebody's coming behind you as you're backing up and it will alert you so you can avoid an accident. Here's the window sticker so I can tell you some specs on it. Made in Japan. Of course, this is classic silver metallic. 
53 in the city. It's extremely impressive fuel mileage there. Here's some of the options that are on it. I mean, standard equipment. That's what I meant to say. Here's some options. It's 23,400. Like I said, it's a $300 jump and it does have the blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. That's for $500. Very good value here. So we delivered it to the dealerships. We added in some carpet mats. Puts it at 25 one. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe right now. Please subscribe. I love it. Thank you. And also follow my column, torquenews.com slash Toyota. I promise you'll get an in-depth look at Toyota news and reviews and how-to videos that might just help you with your research or help you learn more about the cars you already own. So I'm on Facebook at Toyota Jeff. I'm on Instagram at Toyota Jeff one. There we go. Guess what? I'm on Twitter, Toyota Jeff one. Thank you guys so much. You're the best. See you next time. We did it.